Hi darlings, welcome back to my channel. I just said Alexa off to my Dyson fam, so that proves that I'm not fully, not fully with it today, but I hope you can bear with me because today I want to share with you all of the new bits in my wardrobe from the month of August. And let me tell you, over the last couple of weeks, I felt like autumn is here. It has been a non-stop cloud, pretty much non-stop rain. You might even be able to hear the rain pitter-pattering. I like saying that, pitter-pattering on my window. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much an autumn basics haul, I guess, because a lot of these pieces are exactly that. Few late summery things thrown in for good measure, but there we go. Most of these bits as well are from the high street, some really lovely affordable pieces, and in my opinion, the kind of pieces that are very trendless. They are the building blocks, those core pieces that you're going to get a lot of wear out of, and the things that will just really work for so many different occasions. So hopefully, this is gonna be full of lots of little gems, and as always, everything that I mention, in case you love it or you would like any more info, will be linked in the description box. So if you do want to shop anything, you can just click the little down arrow in the description box, and everything will be perfectly laid out there for your shopping ease and pleasure. Darlings, if you are new here, Hello, welcome to the channel, and I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button, that would truly mean the world to me. If you don't want to miss any upcoming videos, you can click that little bell icon and it'll just send you a little push notification, a little nudge every time a new video of mine goes live, which is every Tuesday, every Thursday for vlogs, and every Sunday at 5pm for fashion video, so that's the easiest way to never miss out. And yeah! That's everything I need to ramble about before getting started. So let's begin as always with what I'm wearing right now. And I will begin just quickly with the jewelry because otherwise I will forget. And I've forgotten to put earrings in. Great start, Josie. I will probably pop downstairs at some point to make myself a coffee. Might put them in halfway through the video. Uh, yeah, not even wearing any normal rings. But hey, I've got a beautiful bracelet on uh, which matches my necklace. And these are both from the Pandora Brilliance collection. This video is not sponsored, however, I must tell you that I am working with Pandora on another video, which is so lovely. And this collection is probably the most premium priced point collection. These are diamonds, but they are not mined diamonds. They are lab crafted diamonds, just so beautifully cut. I'm not gonna lie, very expensive diamond over here, not so expensive diamond over here, and you really can't tell the difference. It's also the first carbon neutral collection, um, a lot more sustainable, really beautiful, very elevated for Pandora. If you associate Pandora with like teenage charm bracelets, this changes all of that and I love it. It's really classic, really elegant. Um, I've got it in a yellow 14 karat gold with a beautiful round cut diamond, which is so sparkly for the necklace and the earrings. And like the clothing in this video, this jewelry just goes with everything and I think it's beautiful. Then I have got on this absolutely gorgeous knitwear piece and this is, this finishes at a really nice length just around the hips but it's the neckline that I absolutely love, I really really love light coloured knitwear, light coloured everything pretty much although I do get a little bit more experimental with deeper tones in autumn but yeah this neckline I feel is quite sporty and yet quite understated and luxurious and great for showcasing a really beautiful necklace. I like the length of the sleeves as well, it's like a three quarter length, so perfect if you are cooking or doing your makeup or anything, you're not going to get stuff um, in your sleeves. And then the leggings that I'm wearing, I actually bought them because I do have a pair of workout leggings from Reese in this color, which I will also leave linked down below, but these are from H&M, they're more cotton, they're not like, um, as elasticated as the workout leggings, so a bit more comfortable if you do like to wear leggings throughout the day. And this is just a really nice, neutral toned, classic and fairly chic outfit if you are working from home. You don't want to spend a fortune on your outfit, it's all from the high street, um, but you still want to look elegant and polished and put together. So yeah, great start from the high street. Okay, my darlings, up next is this really gorgeous, and I'm not sure whether you would call this sage or olive or khaki, but it is a really lovely shirt dress. Now, H&M do the most amazing shirt dresses. My favorite one is, I'll pop a picture on the screen here, this white linen shirt dress, which I have worn throughout the summer here at home, accessorized with my little Loewe belt. I wore it as a beach cover-up on holiday. I just love that shirt dress. This is a completely different material. Um, it's a lot more lightweight. It feels and looks almost silky. 
and yet it's a lot more affordable than a silk dress. It is the kind of material that's going to crease a little bit, so I would say a steamer is going to be your best friend with something like this. You can wear it just as a very relaxed kind of silhouette, or as I have done here, just cinch it in around the waist with a little waist belt to add that shape to your silhouette. It's a really nice, as I said, lightweight material, so for these kind of humid end of summer days, it's absolutely perfect, and if you do want to have a little nod to a slightly more autumnal colour palette in your end of summer wardrobe, then this is absolutely perfect. If you live in a warmer country, um, and you want to start wearing some autumn trends early on, then again, perfect for that. I would also say that this is a fantastic work dress. It feels very smart, it's very modest, it's very elegant, it's very proper. And if you maybe get a little bit warm on your commute and then you can perhaps layer up in the office, then great. But also if you're working from home but still need to look smart for your Zooms, then it's really comfortable, really easy to accessorize, and yet you still look very polished. But for me, for just kind of elevating my at-home style, just wearing something like this around the house, again, because it's so affordable. I feel that this is a really nice alternative to a tracksuit <laughs> or like wearing leggings and a knit like the previous outfit. If I want to elevate my day at home outfit, this is just absolutely perfect for that. So let's go with another really lovely dress next. And this one, once again, is one of those really, really wearable dresses that works for both those slightly more casual days at home, but also if you've got something fun planned, a lunch out, a date, a date day or a date night, then I think this is a really, really sweet dress. It's one which, again, I feel transcends the seasons. It's floral, but these slightly kind of more earthy colors, which, I feel a great for that transitional period. Once again, a really nice lightweight material, very swishy, very floaty. If we do have a humid end of summer, early autumn, this is gonna be perfect. But also if you live in a house that's quite warm, even though we live in a very, very, very old house, it's actually quite warm here. In the autumn and winter, we nearly always have a fire lit. Um, not that I wear something like this in winter. Maybe I would, I've got some really nice cardigans to show you. In fact, I'll pair one with this in a second. Um, but we've also got an Arga, which just continually radiates out heat. So this house is warm. So I love to wear little dresses which aren't, aren't too clingy, a little bit more breathable, a little bit more airy. And this one is just absolutely gorgeous and a very timeless little pattern. You've got these sweet little pockets, again, a very modest length and this lovely little tie detail, which just cinches you in around the waist. Once again, you could pair it with these skinny Loewe belts. I'm gonna link the belt down below as well because it goes with so many outfits. It goes with long line cardigans. You'll probably see it a lot throughout this video. And here is one of said cardigans. So this one is, I would say a midi length cardigan, if that's a thing. It's kind of like halfway down the thigh. This is cozy. This is a really great, affordable, neutral, gonna go with everything, cozy cardigan. If your house is cold or if you like to just so you're going out for the day, you want to just pack something with you that you know is going to be instant, cozy and toasty factor, then this is it for a really good price as well. This is a wool and alpaca blend. I have fairly sensitive skin, so I do often feel an itch if there's going to be one. I'm not feeling any itch here, which is great. Um, I would say if you're super sensitive, there might be a little bit of itchiness, but apparently you can use like some kind of fabric softeners which get rid of it, but um, yeah, it feels very soft and cozy. It is full length on the sleeves, but then you do have this elasticated uh, cuff, so you can cinch them up a little bit if you like. I'll show you what it looks like on the screen here without the Loewe belt, but I'm sure you'll agree with the belt, it really takes it to the next level. It really looks as though you've styled your outfit, and I think it's so much more flattering um, to really accentuate that small part around your waist, and it just looks more, in my opinion, it just looks more stylish with the belt. So I'm gonna try and find a more affordable alternative to link down below, but honestly, <laughs> as I've said, could not recommend this belt any more highly. Neutral color of the cardigan, in my opinion, makes it very versatile. It's gonna go with lots of different things. And yeah, just a fantastic layering piece as we come into autumn. This next piece I already know is such a winner. I'm a huge fan of jumper dresses. They are just the easiest outfit, literally cozy times a million. You throw it on and you look great. And that's your whole outfit sorted. All you have to decide is what footwear you're gonna wear. And let's face it, what kind of footwear doesn't go with a jumper dress if you're quite cool? Um, obviously trainers, you could probably pair like Vecha trainers. You could wear the mm. Hmm, not sure about heels actually. Apart from heeled boots, heeled boots look great. Flat boots, wellies, whatever. Jumper dresses are so 
easy to accessorize. Now, I actually think this looks great without a belt and for the comfort factor, the fact you can eat what you want. Autumn, hallelujah, is the season of macaroni cheese, the season of stodge, and I can't wait. I can't wait to not have a restricted waistband. Um, and yeah, that's what jumper dresses are great for. Again, this is a neutral color. It's very easy to wear, easy. I think it'll go with every skin tone, every hair color, very, very versatile and should go with all your accessories as well. Very affordable, love the neckline, very chic, super comfy, gorgeous length, doesn't have any annoying slits that go really high like some of my jumper dresses that I loved last season. You'd kind of always have to wear tights with them. This is definitely going to be something that I'm going to be getting so much wear out of and I would highly recommend investing now, even if you're not quite ready for autumn, because things like this, they're just going to sell out and they're not going to come back again. The retail cycle is weird, like now is when they have their best autumn stuff in, which is kind of annoying, but when you see something, if you know you love being cosy and you love jumper dresses, I would recommend investing. I say investing. It's very, it's pretty affordable, but yeah, it's super. The only thing that I would change about this is the sleeve length. I do wish that they were cropped. Um, as you can see, mine's been on a hanger, so it's a little bit pokey on the sleeves right now, but I think that with a little bit of wear, it's gonna be perfect. Up next, we have the obligatory part of the video where I try really hard to dress like a normal person. You know, this is the kind of thing that normal people wear, but I I don't wear. I very, very rarely wear jeans. If you are regular here on my channel, and especially if you watch vlogs, you'll know that I literally, I can't, I cannot I even tell you if I've worn jeans this year. I don't like them. I find them uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know why people choose, I mean I do, they look cool, they do look cool, kind of an ongoing joke, I'm, I'm not a very cool person, I prefer floaty girly things, but I can't deny I love this outfit, so the top and the jeans um, are both from the high street, the bag obviously is not, let's just quickly talk about the bag, so I actually have purchased two YSL bags from Net-A-Porter and I'm kind of trying to find my perfect autumn bag so I'd love your opinions. They're both very small and I love how small bags look but can I deal with how much you have to sacrifice? I always like to have a lot of stuff with me um, but I can't deny how cool this looks with the outfit especially where it hangs because it hangs quite high on the waist, on the hips I think it's a really nice accessory to the look. I have managed to get um, my phone, my vlogging camera, a lipstick and a hair bobble and a face mask in here. So what more do you need, really? That is the question. Well, hand sanitizer, powder, a mirror, a hairbrush. You do need more than just this, but if you are a seasoned small bag veteran, then I think they look great with your outfit. But anyway, onto the actual outfit. So I always love a high neck. I love a high neck sleeveless jumper because you feel quite free. You feel as though you're able to do whatever you're doing, writing, typing, working, driving. I like having my arms free and yet you get the coziness and the autumn vibes from a high neck. And especially if the color is dark, like this is a dark brown, um, I think it's nice to have more flesh on display because it kind of breaks it up a little bit. If you don't like to have a really dark outfit, then perhaps a sleeveless dark knit is a stepping stone. At least it is for me. Love the jeans, actually. I am going to purchase and try a size up because I won't lie. It was quite challenging getting these on. Um, what size are these? Euro 2630. So I'm going to try 2830. Hopefully they'll be more comfortable. I have got a very thick knit. I mean, this is quite thick tucked in. So it's a little bit bulky around the waist. Um, I mean, now that they're on, they're not uncomfortable. I'd probably maximum be able to wear these for a couple of hours though. So. Sorry to bring the mood of the video down, but I do have endometriosis and it's quite painful having things like quite tight on my tummy. So that's another reason why I do avoid jeans. So yeah, I'm gonna try these in the size up. I'm gonna put a picture here of how they looked on the website because they were ironed in a way that had like a central seam. And I was expecting them to come like that. And that was actually what drew me to them. But they didn't come like that, obviously. It would have taken me like two minutes to have ironed that seam on. Maybe I will when the next size up arrives. Um, but I really liked that look and yeah, 
that's how I'm going to iron them. And it doesn't hurt to mention, again, I'm not sure if these are still available, but I did show you these in last week's video. It was my first Autumn High Street haul. I'll leave it linked up on the screen and down below. Didn't know if I'd get much wear out of these and very much a Marmite product. They are Borg uh, little block heels. I love them. <laughs> I actually love them. They're so comfy. And with outfits like this, I think they are a perfect footwear accessory. A similar outfit for my next attempt to dress like a normal person and this time we have got, mm, do you know what, if that cardigan was a 2 out of 10 on the itchy scale, this is a 4 out of 10. What is the fabric of this? How interesting. So this is also alpaca and polyamide. Now I'm not sure of the percentage of alpaca in the cardigan, um, but I'm pretty sure this is more. I do feel a little bit, not itchy, but you know, I can tell that it could get that way around the neckline. But as you may be able to see, I have switched in, switched out, switched over my accessories. I always think that if you are going for something a bit more boxy like this, um, if I take a step back, you can see I've just like subtly tucked it in to the jeans, then I always feel like you need to add a little bit of fun to the neckline because otherwise this expanse is very boring, <laughs> quite frankly. So I have added in um, some of my favourite layering pieces. Now these are both from Missima, another jewellery brand that I absolutely adore and I think that if you are a cool girl, when you're trying to get that cool girl look, or um, you love layering your accessories, you just cannot beat Miss Mother pieces are absolutely gorgeous. So this is actually a new addition to my collection. Um, this has got almost like tiny little leaves, and I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. I get so much wear out of my other Miss Machoka, which has got almost like medallions on it, and then their pendants are just absolute classics. You can't go wrong. They're such good quality. They're the kind of things that they go with so many outfits, and I really feel like these accessories make this top. It's essentially a mauvey brownie beige t-shirt in an alpaca -y material. Does look great tucked into the jeans for another fairly cool girl kind of outfit. So here is option two for the handbags. Please let me know which one you prefer. Very similar, as you can see. This one is more of an oblong. <laughs> is that what you'd call this shape? Uh, ooh, actually, this one's easier to open because the other one, actually easier to close. The other one is fine opening, but to close it, you have to kind of concentrate and like push it down together in the right place, whereas this is just a really easy to use flap. If you've got a massive phone, this one might be a bit easier because of the length of the bag. Um, yeah, ooh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look at the price points on both of these. I think I prefer how the other one looks when worn crossbody across the outfit. You can, I like the stud. Like that is just nice. It's like antique brass. Looks like the light fittings that we've put in the cottage. Um, but yeah, I think I prefer how the other one looks when worn crossbody. Maybe if I shorten this one, it could look a little bit better. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the two YSL bags. First or the second, down below. This next outfit I am a little bit in love with. I didn't actually think I would love it as much. I thought the blouse might be a little bit too preppy, but I am in love with this outfit. This is a Josie and Jeans kind of outfit. The ones before, yes, I love, but I think anyone that knows me really well would be like, ooh, Josie, you're trying something a little bit new. Whereas this is me softly transitioning myself into jeans because we've got ruffles, we've got white, we've got lace, we've got these cute little buttons. This outfit really reminds me of an interior designer whose interior style I love and she also came to our house, her name is Susie Atkinson, she does a lot of interior designing for Soho, Soho Houses um, and she visited the house with her daughter, both just had the most amazing style and they were wearing, I think they were both wearing high-waisted cream coloured jeans but I can see both Susie and her daughter wearing this kind of outfit, they were just such a glam couple, so glam. Um, yeah, I can imagine Susie and Rosie wearing this outfit. I can also imagine a lot of the very cool girls that I follow on Instagram wearing something like this. I want to be one of those cool girls that wears outfits like this. So yeah, really, really liking it. Love how it looks with the crazy Borg sandals. And if you are in the market for a new bag this autumn, but you don't want to go designer, you want something from the high street, 
I saw this one and I thought it was absolutely fabulous. It looks a little bit Bottega-esque. I really like this um, woven style. I'm sure they'll probably bring out shoes to match. Love that you can hold it by the top handle, but then if you need to, you can wear it cross body. But this unclips in case you don't want to wear it cross body. A lot more room in it than the two wire cell bags I showed you earlier, a lot roomier. Um, and just it feels really really good quality for a high street bag so thought I would show you this one and I love how it looks with this outfit before I get into what I think is going to be the final outfit of this video I did want to bring um <laughs> I did want to bring a couple more things to your attention. First of all, yes, I did feature this in last week's video. It is a sleeveless Borg jacket and I love it. And I just wanted to let you know that I have worn it four times this week. I think next week we're actually gonna have a heat wave. So I'm probably not gonna wear it again for a little while, but it's one of those things that come autumn, I know just based on this week alone, but I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. So I thought I would re re bring this to your attention. It looks quite cool with um, the jeans and the shirt that I'm wearing now. So yeah, I'll leave this link down below again. Highly recommend. And also something else to recommend to you if you're still in summer mode, if you have got a holiday coming up, um, then look at these absolute beauties no they are not castagna they are dorothy perkins so much more affordable and they are just the absolute classic gorgeous espadrille shoe so comfortable they look incredible they're absolutely beautiful i would say i'd swap out this for a nicer looking ribbon but actually when they're on they look great and I love the colour of them. Um, perfect height heel. I wore these for a photo shoot and I've worn them for a brunch and I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I'll probably get a lot more use out of them next week as well when the sunshine finally reappears. Okay, I was almost not gonna show you this because it is August at the end of the day, but it wouldn't be a true what's new in my wardrobe <laughs> if I didn't show you everything that's new in my wardrobe this month. So here we have my Monaveen, Monaveen London? faux fur coat oh my goodness i've had this this coat on my wish list for a couple of years but i thought josie you've got your top shop coat so it's quite similar um which by the way i love and have worn so much that the lining is now completely shredded don't ask me how but the lining has practically all fallen out so it's about time we elevated the faux fur white coat game and this is it this is the bee's knees i think these coats are like one size so it is quite oversized on me but just the classic long cozy teddy coat i know that i'm going to be cringing thinking about this next week when it's 22 degrees which i know is not hot to a lot of people but here in the uk that's kind of a mini heat wave um but yeah i just thought i'd show you this because you're going to see me wearing this a lot come actual autumn winter well my darlings i am so pleasantly surprised by this final outfit of today's video i kind of i actually left this one till last thinking maybe i won't include it maybe it's a little bit tacky um because i'm not going to lie on the coat hanger and on upon unboxing didn't love it did not love it but obviously something drew me to this dress when I added it to my basket and now that I've got it on, I love this dress and I can see myself getting a lot of use out of it. So it is that floral print, which is not dissimilar to some of the um, dresses that I showed you earlier in the video. But as you can very much tell, especially with my ring light, it's probably not quite as jazzy um, without the ring light, but as you can tell, it has got quite the metallic thread running through it. In fact, it's pretty much got almost like a metallic overlay which I've never really seen before I've never seen such patterned fabric have such a metallic overlay but I just love it so if I get my hair out of the way we can see what an amazing neckline this dress has very Victorian style very isn't Downton Abbey the film coming out this Christmas oh my gosh I'm so excited if I was invited to the premiere <laughs> what a dream. Um, I might wear something like this because it's a little bit old-fashioned but still jazzy because it's metallic. This seems to me to be the perfect kind of dress for autumn winter occasions. Occasion wear is going to be big this year isn't it because hopefully as long as nothing goes drastically wrong we're actually not going to be in lockdown for whole of December and Christmas this year which would be great. So occasions I think will be back on the cards um, and we'll be making up for lost times. So I think there'll be loads but even tomorrow night on a Sunday evening, I have got a really nice 
Yeah, I'm filming this video very last minute. I have got a really nice event to go to and I think I might wear this. This for me feels perfect, especially around here for like Cotswold, autumn um, and late summer evening events. It feels perfect for things like that because it's a lovely length. It's a slightly old fashioned and countryside pattern, but it's metallic and it's jazzy. It does have a little uh, tie around the waist. You could of course swap in for the Loewe belt, but I think it looks great as it is. And I have paired with, just because they're so easy to slip on, my Bottega Looky Likeys, actually from the high street, but actually, if I was going out, I'd probably wear, at this time of year, my Valentino Rockstud sandals, and in the autumn, I might even wear the Valentino boots, the little ankle boots that I shared in my best and worst, under the worst category, luxury purchases, because I haven't worn them that much, but I think they'd look great with something like this. So yes, I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this, and I'm so glad I did try it on, because as I said, didn't love it on the hanger, but absolutely love it now that I've got it on. And I know I'm going to get so much wear out of this for various late summer, autumn, and winter events. So darlings, we end on a high. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully have inspired you to um, pick up some basics, or not so basic, but there we go. Pieces for your upcoming autumn and late summer wardrobe. Don't forget, everything will be linked down below. Do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you very, very soon for the next one. Bye darlings. Thank you.